hashtag Verse TV week 153. Hustling Entrepreneurs. And it reads, a girlfriend should be a potential wife. Relationships are investments, not hobbies. Date with purpose. Okay. And this is, again, just the regular in my mind segment. So we're just answering the in my mind question. All right. And. Okay. So I will say. uh, Okay. Hmm. Okay. You know, I I, I remember when when I was a a youngster, just entering the world of gay dating, um, i.e. 19 to, well, I, I started entering the dating world and my dating world was gay at the age of 19. And I, I, I remember speaking with people and I never used to understand when, because I am obsessive about love, almost kind of, and I love love and I love seeing other people's love thrive and grow and do amazing things. Just like the two of you, Stefan and Greg, honestly, uh, plug, plug. Uh, for bottled, but it, it, it I, I never fully understood when I would speak with somebody and they would be like, yeah, we're dating, but I know he's not the one. And in my mind, I'm like, well, why are you dating? If you know he's not the one, why are you all wasting each other's time? It just, it never made that much sense to me. And uh, I do feel that dating should be leading to marriage or at least some sort of deliberate lifetime connection. Because, And the only reason I don't say marriage as an absolute is I acknowledge that some people see marriage as like, oh, it's an archaic thing and it was really just established to... Uh, show possession of women and blah, blah, blah. And if you have those kind of perspectives on it, I'll, I'll, I'll say, okay. I, I, I don't feel the same way, but I, I understand how you feel if you feel passionate about it. I feel passionate about wanting a husband, though, and that's just me. Um, but yes, I, I yeah. And actually, I think that was my full answer. And next is... Chrissy Marie, did you want to go? Because I really want to go. Yeah, man. Go? Like, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, um, Aaron, uh, I, I agree with the statement. Because, yes, you have to have purpose in whatever connection you make. And if you don't, then what's the point? You know, um, I'm oh, I'm pretty old fashioned. I like that word archaic. It's actually not a. I don't believe it's a negative thing. Um, uh, it's healthy actually, uh, for your wholeness. And it, it, and if you're already a whole healthy person, you get that part. <laughs> you know, you don't just want to be sharing casually, for real, because it's just not healthy. It's not. You know, it's not healthy for your mind, your spirit, your body. It's not healthy for your emotions. It's just not. It just makes you, it's just chaotic in my mind um, to uh, just be too over casual instead of, you know, having some purpose in each step, having some purpose behind your words, some type of purpose behind, you know, what you think about. You know, your your character as a person, your integrity, your morals and values, you know. So um, if you have too much going on in, in the mix, then how, how are you going to, you know, how, how are you going to be able to solidify any part of your life if 
you're just giving yourself away here and there and everywhere. And, you know, of course, like, that's why we had this discussion earlier on in uh, previous shows. Um, you know, why even make the decision to become sexual right away with somebody if, you know, they, they potentially may not be somebody that you intend to spend the rest of your life with. Because you definitely uh, need a partner out here. You need you need that. If you, you want, you need it. You know, and it's you know you want to choose wisely. If that's what you want, then you definitely need it. You know, you don't want to just. <sighs> I wish somebody. I wish we had this platform like back when I was like 17, 18 and still a virgin. <laughs> Cause I was trying to hold on. I was trying to hold on from my husband, but it didn't happen. But uh, I, I still got married eventually anyway. Um, and I still want to get married eventually. But um, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna date somebody, don't, don't date them just cause you wanna just like be sexual and not really build anything or, you know, have some type of meaning or purpose behind it. That's my answer. All right. And Stefan. Uh, I'm it? actually going to steal it. I'm going to steal this. He's, he's burning. Oh my he's God. Burning. Oh, I thought you were saying you didn't want to go. Yeah. Oh, no, I do. I want to go. He um, so this is really interesting because we've had a conversation recently about this kind of topic or whatever and and at least for this particular question i thought it was actually it was a little triggering for me because whenever we talk about marriage it's always about the women the princess women being the prize be, women being the prize women being the wife and stuff like that and i think it should be like it should it's it's, it's not just about women it's about two people um, so that for me is like what was challenging for me with that message, because it's like the woman is a is the one that's turning into the wife. Man, they can do whatever the hell they want to do, but it's the woman that needs to do the thing. And so, like, even just the idea of marriage for me, like, it's something that I'm interested in doing, um, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, like I'm not the lovey dub, like you know all that. And then watching, so and this is also a little bit of his fault, so. I wasn't into Bridgerton until recently. Yeah. And so I started watching Bridgerton and then watching that and seeing how the women is the prize and it's just about the men out here doing the hell whatever they want. But if the woman out there do the same thing, now she's like, you can't touch her. She's untouchable and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, so that annoys me. But I feel like for me, when I think about like dating with someone and being with someone, I really think like, I think in life, we do learn like social sort of like norms and how to be social with people. But like, if you hire an accountant, you don't want a, an accountant that just got their license yesterday and has only been practicing for 30 days. Same thing for a plumber and electrician. And so when you meet someone like that's never dated before, like, and that's never been in that, kind of situation like when you're in a relationship and you're dating you're also learning how to be social with that person in an intimate relationship and sometimes it takes a few dates to learn how to deal with people in certain ways to like because some people you might have like when you start dating you might have a hard hard and negotiable you like you're not willing to compromise you're not willing to do blah 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 but as you get older and you start maturing you start learning people, you start understanding, you know what? I dated these three people and it didn't work out. What did I do wrong? What do I need to do different? You start to learn about yourself more. And the more you learn about yourself, the better you are for the next person. And if that next person happens to be your forever person, that's because of those experiences that you had before that and every other experience as well. So you continue to become a better person, not just for yourself, but like for the person that is going to be that person that you're going to be. 
Oh wow, I took all three minutes. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> all right. And Stefan. Um, I totally agree with that post. I feel like the reason why the dating pool has a little bit of pee in it is because <laughs> 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 Not even a little bit, a lot of it. Um, <laughs> it's because people, one, aren't self-aware, and two, are not intentional about, you know, navigating this pool. People are now just dating just to, you know, get free meals. That's a thing now. People are dating to find temporary shelter. Like, dating has become such a mess and people are out here just damaging good people and just jading good people for the next person and it's just a cycle of hurt people hurting other people and that is why i feel like i've talked to a lot of my friends and they are just like yeah it's there's nothing out here i literally saw a post that said if you have a relationship or a marriage, fight for it because there's nothing out here other than um, hookah, lemon pepper wings, and tragedy. So, so people need to be out here dating with intention and purpose because you, you, we do not have the time we think we have. Time is short and fleeting. So you need to make the most of your time. And if you're just out here dating just to just shoot the breeze and go with the flow, the flow can take you somewhere that you are not meant to be, that you cannot come back from. Have your intentions, set your intentions, and make it known. And go into these situations being honest with yourself and with the person you are pursuing. Because, you know... There's about to be a third world war. We don't need this. Like people don't need their time wasted on top of that because it's also a stressor when you are playing with someone's time and emotions. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. 